begin tonight with our exclusive coverage, Mission of Mercy. A critical care team left McDill Air Force Base early yesterday for St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. They returned late last night after evacuating more than 50 hospital patients. And our Jeff Patterson was the only television reporter traveling with the Air Force, and tonight he's back with us with a report. Yeah, good evening, Keith and Stacy. Some of these patients are in critical need of emergency medical care, and we were told if they hadn't been evacuated yesterday, some might not survive. They are in desperate condition. Hospital patients in St. Croix in urgent need of medical care. Their lifesavers come from the United States Air Force, loading them onto a C-130 for urgent medical care in the U.S. We arrived here last week. Um, the airport was still in pretty rough conditions. Colonel Tammy Rougeau is in charge of deciding which patients need to be evacuated working in an area normally used by cruise ship passengers. This space was open and available to us. When the critical care flight team arrives from McDill, they quickly learned there are more patients than they were expecting. Russell Beenick is with the team from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Well, I've been to Katrina, I've been to Haiti, and, uh, and now this. And uh, this is some of the challenges we ever had. Uh, it's not as bad as the conditions were in Haiti. It's just much more extensive and, and, and widespread. Beenick tells me the evacuation missions performed by the Air Force are saving lives. They're beyond important. They're critical uh, and essential. If, if they did not happen, the people that you see behind us would not be here probably tomorrow or the next day. The patients are then flown five hours to Atlanta, then taken to area hospitals. A lot of them are in critical conditions and not just the care, but a lot of times the, uh, the time that's required is what's important here. It may take months for power to be restored to St. Croix. The local government is estimating it will not happen before December. Clearly, they have a lot of work to do before things can return to normal. It's remarkable. And, and, and when you look at it, you think, is that a hospital? No, that's an airport. That's like a triage unit waiting. Unbelievable. Cruise ship rescuers. passengers are normally there, not hospital patients. Yeah. Right. That was uh, interesting. Thank you for sharing that yep. with us, Jeff. And you can check out many more pictures and videos from Jeff's trip. We've posted them to the News Channel 8 app and our website.